Big one. The big one for 69. Roll them. In the Orange Bowl, it's Penn State, the nation's only 10-0 team, colliding against the Kansas Jayhawks, kings of the Big 8 Midlands. So, man, this is one of the best bowl lineups ever. It's action all the way, and mad to the last second. Queen Robin Watley reigns over the big one. Her royal court, Princesses Katrina, Connie, Vicky, and Diana. At Flamingo Park, the Orange Bowl International Junior Tennis Championship attracts worldwide interest. Participating are junior champions from every continent, North and South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. In prideful and suburban Coral Gables, about six miles from downtown Miami, the colorful Junior Orange Bowl golf tournament is the big one for those junior champions in the world of golf. These guys are good, and they get better every year as the competition gets hotter in a lush Biltmore course. In downtown Coral Gables, the Junior Orange Bowl parade is the big thing. It's America's biggest junior parade. These kids have their own world of color. The 1969 parade marks the 20th march up Ponce de Leon and Miracle Mile Boulevards to the tune of 11 bands and a spectacle of 35 floats. Climaxing this one, the young lady with the mostest, Junior Orange Bowl queen, Robin Campbell. Now let's break away to Biscayne Bay where the big boys are playing today at Miami's modern Marine Stadium. It's the big one in powerboat racing, the 250 Speed Classic and International Grand Prix. The Orange Bowl 250 is one of America's great sporting events. Arriving in this Pontiac Firebird, the official car for the Orange Bowl events, the Regatta's Boat Stopper Girls who will be getting some double takes today. John Lacombe Jr., a Houston oil executive and owner of the New Orleans Saints pro football team in the NFL, has two boats going for him today. Meekum drives the Sinner, while veteran Don Kahl drives the Saint. The concept of the 250 Speed Classic is a combination of speed and endurance that has made the Indianapolis 500 the great auto race that it is. At stake in this big one, $10,000 in cash plus trophies. Holding the national and regal trophies, the former Miss USA, Sharon Brown. And boat stopper Patty Allen, a former Miss Chicago. The national trophy goes to the winner of the 250, and the Regal Perpetual Cup awarded to the entrant who wins the greatest number of laps during the race. Trophies courtesy of the National Brewing Company. The boat stoppers by Pure Oil's Racing Gasoline. Now the 250 Speed Classic and 100 laps of action all the way. John Makem Racing Team. Now the big hot hydros and the International Grand Prix featuring racing's biggest vein, biggest action, and biggest rooster tail at speeds up to 150 miles per hour. Jr., king of the big boys and hydros in the big one for racing. Orange is king tonight in a momentous breakaway in Orange Bowl history as Miami and the nation will view the world's largest floats. Super Floats as the annual New Year's Eve King Orange Jamboree Parade zooms into 1969. Theme of this year's march, Fantasy of Festivals. And now leading the big one in spelling Orange Bowl, Miami's proud and prized motorcycle escort. From Fort Monroe, Virginia, the United States Continental Army Band. And now 
look closely and you'll see the first snowstorm in Miami. Just love that snow, man. A festival in pink. Miami, football capital of the world, the city of sports. Symbol of world peace. Men of many nations united by their belief in God. The scene 1539. The Spanish conqueror De Soto and his troops land in Florida's Manatee County. A giant Florida seashell, porpoises, and mermaids. the Shrine Fun Section's Mad Collection. Natives of four countries where the going is great in a flying cloud theme. The girls actually are natives of the countries they represent. Come on, fellas, send a kid to camp. A salute to people who have helped needy kids. Proud Peacock, the city of Coral Gables. And from University Park, Pennsylvania, the Penn State Blue Band. Ah, you lovely gals, always so helpful in spotlighting Florida's product and beauty. Fantasy of flowers, and it is beautiful. Riding a Florida dolphin in a sea circus theme, a popular kid and her dog. from Lawrence, the great University of Kansas Jayhawk Marching Band. How about this for a super duper festival of the deep? Miss Universe, the Brazilian beauty and star of Beauties of Miami Beach. Hello, world, and hey there, you wonderful girls. Seven Spanish beauties decorate this Florida theme. And cordially invite you to discover Florida. It so happens that these lovelies are all former Orange Bowl princesses. And now in Super Floats, a fantasy of festivals around the world. Here comes El Toro Magnifico, the magnificent bull, king of this Mexican fiesta. If you've ever been to the South Seas, you'll recognize this celebration, giving a feeling of a luau feast and how South Sea Islanders delight in their benevolent gods. In cherry red, a calypso jamboree.
from Berwick, Pennsylvania, the Berwick High School Blue and White Band. A giant Buddha captures the feeling of the Far East Holiday Parade in a Bubbles Bangles Buddha fantasy. And now let's go to El Casino, the international bazaar in Freeport, Grand Bahamas. Sixty-nine Open Golf Tournament. From Vincennes, Indiana, the Lincoln High School Band. Shocking pink, the spices of India. A super float indeed. A modern beauty queen. Miss USA. From Maryland, the South Hagerstown High School Band. A Kentucky Colonel and his adopted children from all over the world say Happy New Year. And from Hollywood, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, starring Dick Van Dyke and Sally Ann Howes. West Virginia High School Band. A winter carnival. Direct from the television show Wild Kingdom, here's Marlon Perkins and his trusty friends. And now from Europe, a flower festival. at Andalusia. Pennsylvania, here we come, this time from Lebanon. Birthday, and everybody's here. From Claxton, Georgia, a true Victorian cake shop. It's the road west, and old 99 rolls across the prairies. We've been to festivals around the world, and now from our country, it's Hoedown, USA. A real swinger in our traditional square dance. <laughs> On a good old 4th of July, Mr. and Mrs. USA in patriotic costumes pay tribute to the land of the free.
and now Her Majesty Queen Robin and her court of charming princesses, in exalted glory, bring to an end this fantasy of fantasies. That's it from here, Mr. Van Patrick. It's all yours. Hello, everybody. This is Van Patrick, and now the big one. The big one from Miami, New Year's Night, 1969. The University of Kansas Jayhawks versus the Penn State Nittany Lions. And this is the way it looks, and the way it is. Made to order. Full moon over the Orange Bowl as Queen Robin Watley arrives on the gridiron for the big one in true star fashion. She will be introduced to the nation at halftime. Paterno, Penn State's great head coach, tells it like it is, and his Lions love him for it. Popular Pepper Rogers, brilliant Kansas coach, is no stranger to the Orange Bowl, having kicked a winning field goal in the 1951 Classic. Quarterback Bobby Douglas, the Jayhawks' left-handed rifle arm All-American, leads the highest scoring team in Kansas history. This defensive end, number 83, is Captain John Zook, his wide shoulders and wide tracks made about every All-American 11. Penn State's great tight end, Ted Qualley, also made everybody's All-American team. All six foot four inches, 230 pounds. Chuck Burkhart, number 22, quarterbacks the Lions attack. Orange Bowl president, Jim Llewellyn, his host to Pennsylvania's governor, Raymond Schaefer, and Penn State's president, Dr. Eric Walker, with three rooting wives. Now the pregame show, entitled American Salute, starring Uncle Sam in a tribute to the nation we call home. of peace, a dozen doves are released. We are thinking of peace and praying that peace may come to the world. Once again, it's play ball time and another unbelievable page about to be written in Orange Bowl history. A long road since that first little 1933 game before 3,500 fans. Penn State won the toss and will receive. Bell kicks off for Kansas to the Penn 7. And Pittman returns it to the 20. It's Campbell on a draw for eight. It's Burkhardt at quarterback for the Lions and he passes to Pittman for 18. Penn State moving, and it's Burkhardt passing again. But this one is intercepted by Mickey Doyle at the Kansas 42. Now it's the Jayhawks, and Douglas firing one to Mosier for 17. After stopping the Jayhawks, Lions ball, and it's Pittman around in for 20. Campbell hits right guard, reverses to the outside, and goes for 19 yards. It's Burke.
Burkhardt passing for the Lions, but intercepted by Hutchins at the 10-45. Now it's Douglas on a keeper around in for the Jayhawks and five yards. This time it's Shanklin at left in for seven. Jayhawks are hot as Riggins hits the middle for 12. Now it's Shanklin again for eight. It's Mike Reeves for the first touchdown. And this is how that touchdown looked from our ground camp. Kansas made the extra point, lead seven to nothing. Bell kicks off for Kansas. Campbell receives it for Penn State and returns it to the 29. Lions ball, and it's Campbell on a reverse round in for seven. Going into the second quarter, it's Kansas seven, Penn State nothing. On this draw play, Campbell goes for 16 big Penn State yards. Jerry hits the left side for six. Now it's Campbell on a reverse around in for six more. On this one, it's Pittman over tackle for a Lions touchdown. Now it's seven for Penn State and seven for Kansas. Coming up is a long one for the Jayhawks as Douglas passes the bomb to Shanklin for 42. And our cameraman is pumped in excitement and loses the ball for a second. Moments later, it's Douglas passing, but the ball is deflected. And intercepted by Smith at the Kansas 35. And he returns to the 11. It's Cherry for Penn State over tackle. Fumbles, and it's recovered by the Jayhawks Benoit at the Kansas 7. Kansas again with the ball. It's Riggins for six. After stopping the Jayhawks, now it's Burkhardt passing to Trollick for 12. It's a quick pitch out to Campbell around in for 14 victory. With 49 seconds on the clock, Burkhardt on a keeper, sails around in for nine. On this one, it's Campbell around right in for seven. And with four seconds left on the clock, Penn misses a field goal attempt at halftime. The opening scene, the Penn State Blue Band, and witness now the first heart transplant ever performed on national television. And there could be some heartbreaks before this battle is over. The colorful University of Kansas Jayhawk Band the big scene, a glorious and glittering halftime extravaganza entitled The Seasons of the Year. At the opened end of the stadium in the Orange Bowl Garden, 
Her Majesty, Queen Robin Watley, is presented to the nation. And she, in turn, presents the seasons of the year, each season starring one of her lovely princesses. First, Summertime, the Princess of Summertime, Miss Diana McAtee. Next, the Beauty of Autumn, adorned by Princess Vicky Princess. The Princess of Winter, Katrina Hampel in a winter wonderland. The Princess of Spring, Connie Clement. And with the coming of spring, Queen Robin casts the magic step. And all of our seasons for 1969, spring delight, and the gala New Year's celebration. into the last half at 7-7 seven and seven as Penn State picks off the Riggins of the Jayhawks, who returns it to the 32. It's Douglas firing for the Jayhawks. Good to Mosier for nine. Now it's Penn State's ball on their 39. And Burkhardt finds Wallach for 30. Big one. Burkhart again races back to pass and finds Edmonds for 12. Now again, Burkhart back to pass and fires to Pollock for 11. Let's take a look at our ground camera on that last pass to All-American Quality. Watch closely the Jayhawks' gold line stand on the next two plays. Joe Paterno not too happy at this moment as Kansas takes over at the goal line. Douglas back to pass, but keeps it and races to his right. Good for 11, Jayhawk yard. With six and a half minutes left in the third quarter, Douglas passes to Riggins for 11. The Jayhawks are really moving now, and Douglas keeps it on his left side for another 10 yards. The great left-hander again back to pass. This time, he rifles one to McGowan for 16. Man, this Douglas is really hot as he fires to Jackson for 19. On this reverse play, Douglas hands off to Jackson around in for five. Later, it's Penn's Burkhart with the ball, finding Campbell for eight. As we go into the final quarter, it's Penn State punting from their 14. Fresno boots one to the Kansas 47. And this is one to watch closely as the Jayhawk Sanders takes it on the bounce. And he's off down the sideline to the Penn State seven yard line. So it's Jayhawks near pay dirt as Riggins takes a handoff to the one-yard line. Now a big one for the Jayhawks, as Riggins goes over for the touchdown.
Here's how it looked on the ground. Now the Nittany Lions of Penn State, favored in this ball game, are behind 14 to 7. After the kickoff, it's Burkhardt passing to Qualic for seven. Later, the Jayhawks take over, and it's the big left-hander for Kansas, socking one to Mosier for 16. Plus, another 15 yards on a personal foul. Now it's the Kansas ball on the Penn State 35 as Douglas passes to Mosier and he's down the sideline for 21. Franklin on a quick pitch back goes for seven. Now with the clock showing one minute and 28 seconds left in the game. The Nittany Lions connect on the big bomb Burkhart to Campbell for 48 yards. The first down on the three. With 24 seconds remaining, Burkhardt, acting on instinct, unexpectedly surprises himself and his teammates by keeping the ball around in for the catch-up touchdown. A ground camera view shows how it surprised the Jayhawks. Penn State lines up quickly, gambles the win by a two-point conversion attempt, which failed, but at the time of this play, the Jayhawks had 12 men on the field. So Penn State will get another try half the distance closer after a penalty. So hold your breath again as once more, the Lions go for two points. And this time, Campbell takes it over tackle for two extra points and victory. Remain undefeated and untied in the wildest, most unbelievable finish in Orange Bowl history. It's great to win, hard to lose. But losing coach Pepper Rogers said it magnificently. When we win, we win together. And when we lose, we lose together. Orange Bowl salutes two great teams and the spirit of sport. This is the excitement of greatness in the Orange Bowl. And there is no end to this story. This is Van Patrick. See you next year.